Hey everybody, welcome! My name is Kurt, aka the Truving Gamer, and we're here. It has been a while, but we are here with a new top list. And this time it's a top 5. Um, I've been thinking about more top lists to do. And to be honest, if I want to talk about something that really is worth in a top list, then I sometimes have to bring it down to 5 games or 5 things, because we're not talking about games that exist at this moment because the topic of this top five list is the IPs so the intellectual intellectual properties that I would love to see in board games or in better board games because some of them have already been used maybe yeah they might already exist but not to my taste so without further ado uh, before I start so there is a further ado uh, if you have any IPs that you think that should be made into a board game, please put them down below in the comments. I will remind you at the end of this video as well. So let me know what things you want to see as uh, a board game. Which IPs, which famous movies or series or books or whatever that you know uh, do you want to see Well, in a board game. So now. The ado is gone, now let's go and see what's my number 5. My number 5 is a IP that I love very much. It's an IP that I know from books, fantasy novels, fantasy books, which I really like. And it's written by... Wiseman and Hickman, so if you want to check it out, go check it out. And I'm talking about Dragonlance. Now, Dragonlance is this fantasy setting. You can compare it a little bit with Lord of the Rings or stuff like that, in which these heroes go on to an adventure to defeat evil and to save all that is good. And now, I think there is a card game, or there was a card game in a long time ago, and it looks cool, but I don't think they... Uh, well, it didn't work out, I think. And I haven't found them yet, the cards, because I, I still want to have that card game, even though it might be bad, it might be good. I have no idea. I've never seen it in real life, but it exists. But that's why I really would like to have a game, a board game or a card game in which you can, well, have adventures with those heroes. Maybe I have no idea. So if you know the IP, let me know what kind of ideas you have for uh, this topic, uh, for this team, for this IP in a board game, because I'm not sure it might be something, uh, it might be an asymmetrical game in which one player plays the heroes of the lands that they are uh, called, or uh, any other player might be the evil uh, dragon riders and stuff like that, the draconians. So that's something I would like to see, but it might as well be an enormous cool board game with lots of team, in like, a little bit like War of the Ring where you take your heroes and you take them on an adventure. It might even be scenario based in which you do these missions, this actually these chapters of the book in certain steps and you go through a complete adventure. It, it I would love to have a game that takes you through the whole story and maybe adds a little bit more. Now, this one I put on number five because I think the chances that someone is going to make a game out of this IP is very small. And uh, as, I, as you can see, there are many directions uh, that game can go into. So a lot of pitfalls as well uh, to, well, it, it has to be something special to make a very good game out of it. But I would love to see a game in that IP. I do have the books for the role-playing game, sadly enough. I bought them because I wanted to have them and I was playing with the idea of doing a role-play adventure with I don't know who, and there's the problem. I still don't know how, uh, who I would play it with and I still don't know when I would find the time to do so. But I love that story so much and I really want to share it with more people. Maybe someone will make a board game, who knows? My number four is a brand new IP from this year, 2016, for those of you watching this later in the future. And that is a IP of a series that 
had a huge, huge success on Netflix this year. And uh, I'm talking about Strange er, Stranger Things. And in Stranger Things, you have these kids in the 80s that, well, some stuff are, is happening in their small town. And there is a very strange, deadly, ugly creature. And that is hunting stuff from a parallel dimension and she there is this girl that comes from that dimension she escapes or whatever who has been ra uh, raised to destroy that creature or fight a creature or enter the parallel universe strange things as i as it says strange things are happening and it makes for a cool idea or ip for a board game because you have these two worlds you have well this village in the 80s and you have this parallel world which kind of looks familiar but is dark and dangerous and there's this strange creature walking around and well feeding on well, yeah on some kind of uh, some humans <laughs> so that sounds pretty cool i would love to see an adventure where you can travel to the other dimension maybe to gather information or whatever uh, but it's very dangerous out there in real life also you have to find you have to fight this conspiracy that is happening and stuff like that and you have these cool uh, main characters these 80s kids and it, it i think it's like it it has to be an idea that will become a board game i think somewhere in the world someone is working on a game it has to be the ip is way too cool to, uh, to not to do it so I really hope oh please that someone is doing that so that's my number four stranger things my number three is a IP that already exists but I'm not talking about the one that already exists because there are many games like this one that it's about Sherlock Holmes, but this time I'm not talking about the old Sherlock in the 1800s, 1900s. I don't know when those books were written. I have no idea, but I'm not talking about this here. No, I'm talking about Sherlock, the BBC series with Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman, which is one of the best series ever made. If you haven't watched it yet, go check it out. It's on Netflix, if I'm not mistaken, three seasons very short seasons because there are three episodes each season which well are quite long because they are actually like movies and it's just an awesome awesome series and I would love to see a board game made out of it you would have the map of London uh, with all those famous locations that are used in the in the series uh, Sherlock's place of course Baker Street um, St. Mary's, I think, or St. Bartholomew's, uh, I don't know all the names by heart, but there are pretty cool locations. You could travel between these locations walking, but you can take a taxi because they always take taxis over there. And you can have all these scenarios again. So it might be a scenario based game like Robinson Crusoe maybe you have scenarios that you are trying to solve cases that you are trying to solve and also the idea of the mind palace of Sherlock so where he phases out a little bit so and maybe he uses some drugs to do so but maybe not but and then he phases out and he starts entering this palace mind palace trying to figure out all this stuff and that might be a separate thing on the board the mind palace that you can use and while Martin Freeman is the ex-soldier, he's a doctor, he can help you uh, with stuff. You have all the other characters like Lestrade and stuff like that who might help you. And well, it's just an IP that needs to be made into a board game. And well, if someone wants to do so, please, please do so. There is a clue version of Sherlock, but that's not what I'm talking about. Not at all. Make me a, a combination between... Robinson Crusoe and Eldritch Horror, stuff like that, about Sherlock, the BBC series. Someone do that, please. It's my number three on my wish list for IPs in new board games.
My number two is, well, a, another one where there is already some games about. There is an old uh, collectible card game which didn't have a long life. No, not at all. And which was actually Clue with cards. And now there was another one, I think two years ago, uh, by the IDW. And I'm talking about X-Files. Now, this is not a bad game itself, but it's really very much condensed you have a few locations you go there you solve these uh, mysteries or these conspiracies as a player and the other player plays a cigarette smoking man and you are dra drawing tokens from a bag and stuff like that but it's all very condensed now the cards are cool the artwork is pretty cool it's from the comics and well that's what what they have the rights for but i would love to see again and i might be I might be re repetitive with the kind of games I want, but this again might be something like Eldritch Horror. You have a world map in which you have all these unexplainable events happening and you, well, Mulder, Scully, Crycheck, uh, Principal Skinner, you might go to all those places, try to solve them, try to figure out what's happening. There has to be some kind of story also in, in it to figure things out. You, of, of course, there is this artificial intelligence because I don't like one versus many games, honestly. So it should be driven by the game. And of course, it should be a cooperative game as well. And you're going to travel around the world having all these adventures that you recognize from the series and maybe there might be a traitor who knows because crycheck is uh, this double agents thing and you have these conspiracies maybe it, you you might do something with a traitor in the game as well might be very cool but i would love to see an x-files game that completely fills up my table with my favorite characters of all time because this is my favorite television series of all time the x-files oh man i love it uh, the remake the new episodes were okay uh, but the old one were so good it was such a great series to uh to watch it's such an amazing idea and i hope that someone someday gets the right to make a board game from the x-files that is way better way bigger than this one i like this one but oh man it's this was a missed opportunity for sure that was my number two ip i want to see in a board game and now for my number one the ip that i would love to see in a board game and just because it's my number one because it has so much potential there is such a rich world behind this television series again it's a series and i think all five of my think no the dragonlance wasn't a series so but most of them are television series but this one you can do so much with it. I even have been thinking about how can I make a game out of this. A simple card game, but there's so much lore in this series that I want to see something done with this series. And I am talking about Grimm. This series is a series where you have, well, apparently these creatures, these beings, they are called um, Wesson or Wesson, and they are roaming around the world, but you cannot recognize them because you don't see it they look like normal people but sometimes they can change appearance and they look like some animal creature from the fairy tales and stuff like that very very cool and you have a grim and those are people who can see them and they are hunting these with wesson but well in this series of course the the grim doesn't want to kill the wesson they he only fights the bad ones because there are many good ones as well and many different ones and that's so awesome you have this whole world that you can do so much with i already talked about this in an old episode of all aboard and that i really would like to see this uh, team for example in a legendary encounters game you have all these creatures that you can use you have your main characters you have these great cool things you have powers you have yeah uh, magic you have weapons all these old ancient weapons oh man this is an ip that needs a board game or a card game because this ip is just so rich so rich it's not my 
not my favorite television series of all time. I haven't even watched Beyond, Beyond episode, uh, Season 3. So I still haven't watched everything, but man, the idea of this series is so good that I really, really wish someone will make a board game out of this one. So that's my number one IP that I want to see in a board or card game. Uh, there are many things you can do with this and someday I hope someone will do so. I would love to do it myself, but uh, I'm making a small game which is not that going that fast already, so I'm not the guy to make a big board game. Who knows, someday it will happen. So thanks for watching this list and feel free, please do so, to comment below. Let me know what you think of my 5 IPs that I would love to see made into a board game and what your IPs are that you are longing for to see in a board game. I have a few more that I think about, but let's put them down below. Let me know what you think. Also, if you like this list, feel free to thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber yet, well, feel free to push the button to subscribe. It's a great community here, many lovely people watching. And well, you're uh, of course welcome to stay here and more top lists will follow, of course. And with that, I want to thank you. I want to invite you on Twitter, where I'm at Vitruvian Gamer. Also on Instagram, Vitruvian Gamer as well there. And well, email if you want. I'm VitruvianGamer at gmail.com. That's my email address. That's V-E, not V-I, Vitruvian Gamer. Very important. All right, folks, that was this list. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching and I see you all in the future. Bye-bye.